Hey guys, I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK. Today we're out in Herefordshire. It's the 5th of October and uh, a friend of mine has asked me to come and do, uh, me and Attila, to come and do a mushroom survey of his small holdings. So that's a video for you to look forward to because we found some amazing things. But there's a tree in his small holding right here, which I'd never done a video of before, which um, I thought you guys would like to see. This is our medlar tree, or it's technically it's a, a large shrub or a small tree. It's not particularly long lived. I think they only live for about 60 years maximum. But this is a very unusual fruit. They're not very common in the UK, but very easy to identify. We call them the medlar but there's all kinds of other names. I think the uh, French name translates as dog's bottom and uh, they also get called the monkey bottom fruit. Um, they are uh, a certainly an unusual fruit and an easy one to identify. They never get particularly big. And as you can see by this one here, even though they're not particularly big, they quite often drip with fruit. Now, this fruit has been on this tree for at least two or three months already, and it's still not fully ripe. This is a, a fruit that is um, considered ripe when it's rotten, if you like, and uh, you kind of have to wait for a frost to blet it, for it to sweeten up and become nice and tasty. So I'm not gonna taste these today. Um, they're all still very, very hard. Um, but after they've bletted, they have a, a, a very unusual flavour. It's, um, it's not for everyone, but to me, it's kind of like a spiced apple flavour. They are in the same family as our apples, the wider rose family. It's a rosacea. I think its scientific name is Mespilus uh, germanica um, or Crataegus uh, germanica. And uh, it's not a, a common tree in the UK. It is one that we've had in the country for a very long time though. It was cultivated by the Romans and um, it's one that uh, I think has some sort of relationship to Charlemagne. He um, apparently used to plant it on the roads into cities so that travellers wouldn't go hungry. Uh, it's one that's used in Germany for making schnapps and drinks and it's widely used for making jams and other things like that. It's not one that you really want to just eat out of your fruit bowl though. So it's one that you always harvest, like I said, after it's bletted, after it's started to almost rot and, uh, and then use it to, to prepare other things, like I said, like drinks and jams and apparently something that's a, a little bit like lemon curd, which is medlar jelly, which you can make from this as well. Anyway, a nice, easy one to identify. One that Shakespeare and Chaucer wrote about. So it's, uh, it's been in the UK for a very long time, but not one that we find too often. And I think that's because it originates from around, uh, the, around Turkey and as far east as Iran and um, the Caucasus Mountains and, and places like that. So it likes a, a kind of mild Mediterranean climate from what I've read, uh, which means that it doesn't self-seed so well in the UK, uh, which is probably why it's not too common. Anyway, medlars, a fruit that normally, if it wasn't one of the hottest Octobers uh, that I can remember, would probably be ready now, but um, it's one that, on this tree anyway, we're certainly gonna have to wait for a couple more weeks before we do any harvesting. And after I've harvested it, I'll um, show you what to, uh, to do with it uh, in another video. Anyway, if you want to find out more, go to wildfooduk.com. <music> <music>